Top of the mind for Garland ISD more than a week after a terror attack at a free speech event. Jenny is live to explain. Yeah, Tim and Lauren, what we know is that Garland ISD officials are being extremely cautious with regards to tonight's meeting. So they're going to have a media staging area. They're also going to have an overflow room because they do expect a lot of people. And they're also having a rule that nobody is allowed to stand. They have to keep all the aisles clear. So everybody has to be in a seat in place when all of this gets going. Large crowds are expected because the superintendent and board president will be making some statements about the shootings earlier this month at the Curtis Colwell Center. Security protocols will also be discussed in an executive session. We're also now learning more about the law enforcement presence the day the shootings happened. According to Garland's police chief, typically about two to four officers would work security at the Curtis Colwell Center during an event. Well, there were more than 40 police officers, school security officers, ATF agents, and FBI agents on site the day of the shootings. We also now know it was not just one officer who opened fire that day, but five officers who were there and fired shots. However, their names are not being released because of threats. So we're not talking about a threat in person or over the phone, but a threat made on social media. So that's why they're taking the extra precautions. If you are showing up to the meeting tonight, which starts at 6 o'clock, you're encouraged to arrive early to go through those security checks. Reporting live in Garland, Jenny Anchando for Good Day.